So now we're ready for that shepherd's pie. My husband loves the shepherd pie. He shepherd does. Shepherd pie. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Yeah. And it's actually originally a Norwegian dish. Get out. It is. And my family is actually from Norway. So this is one of the first things I learned how to cook. But we've got two pounds of hamburger in the frying pan. And of course, one large onion. And we're gonna dice this up. But it's, I'm just gonna chop it. You can chop it any way you want. Okay. But I love onions, so I do big chops if I cannot make I a mess. I do too. I had a friend one time that said my mother would put um, onions in jello. Well, I can't make jello, but if I could, I think I would too. Well, I can teach you how to make jello. No, you can't. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make jello all my life, and for some reason, Get out. all you can do is drink it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now you're going to put that put in. Um, in with the hamburger. Okay. You want me to move it over a little? That would be great. Do we need to turn up the um, stove a little? We are going to turn it up. And sometimes if I have mushrooms mm -hmm. in the refrigerator, I'll chop them up and oh, put them yeah. in it after the onions and the hamburger are cooked. Okay. So, like, have you cooked all your life? Well, no, I haven't. My mom was an excellent cook, but she was very OCD, so she wouldn't let anyone in the kitchen but her. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, so <laughs> I actually got to practice on my husband when I got married. Yeah, but you've been married like forever. 30 years. Yeah. So I practiced for 28 on him and then got it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I came around in about year 29. I know. I needed you. Okay, so what we put next? We're going to add salt and pepper, and I just do it to taste. Then it'll really be about a teaspoon of each. Um, when I started cooking, I did watch my mother, but she never measured anything. Mine didn't either. So I don't either. You just kind of look at it. It's called eyeballing. Eyeballing. Yeah. Well, um, so like what kind, now your mom and dad moved down here actually as children from Minnesota, right? Well, my mom was actually from North Carolina. Oh, okay, so she was a Southern cook. Yes, and my dad was from Minnesota. So he, and he brought in the exotic food. Yes, meat. Meat. <laughs> oh, okay. When you're from the South, it's mostly vegetables, but when you're from up North, it's a lot of meat. Yeah, we ate a lot of chicken. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and what do we do? Just let this... Um, you just let it keep cooking, brown the hamburger, let the onions start to get soft. Okay. You want to do it? Or am I, I getting I on your nerves? No, I think you're doing a good job. Okay. I'm sitting yeah. here squeezing my hands going, I... <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's, that's the way I, You me. notice I said you were going to cook this and then I took it. Uh-huh. Yeah, well. That's okay. I like that's that. That's the way I roll. Well, while you do that, how about let me do the potatoes. Okay, yeah. And um, these are, this is five pounds of potatoes. Peeled, peeled. up. Yeah. And cooked. And, yep. of course, we're going to do what every good cook does and we're going to stick an entire stick of butter in there, and I am just gonna break it up a little bit because it's not real soft. Whoa. Well, and, and then sour cream. I love sour cream in my mashed potatoes. And I am gonna use a cup. Again, I'm just eyeing it, but Hey, Amy, have you ever put garlic in your um, mashed potatoes? I have, but not for this recipe. Yeah. I love garlicky mashed potatoes. I need salt and pepper. Did you? I moved oh, okay. it. Again, just. Did Sammy do the smells salt, it and it smells good? My pepper. baby wants to eat some hamburger. A little bit of cream. And now I need to mix it together. Oh, you need the mixer. Let me get it for you. There you go, my friend, my Thank neighbor. You. I'm being neighborly. Thank you. Let me see if I can use this like you did. I hope you use it better. 
Note to self, practice before going on television. I do love this mixer. Huh? I do love this mixer. I do too. And I'm gonna love it better the next time. I didn't put but about a quarter of a cup of cream in these potatoes. You don't need them too stiff because they're going to stiff up as they bake in the oven. And what do we need our oven to be on? We need the oven to be on 350 because we're just going to put them in there long enough. Let mama taste. Do taste. Mmm. This is why I'll never be skinny. <laughs> <laughs> They're good though, aren't they? It's just not worth it. That's right. All right, the hamburger. You think we're ready? I do. It looks done. And the uh, onions are a little bit transparent. And you don't have to drain this if you use an 80-20 or a 90-10 hamburger. Oh, that's what we use. Yes. If you use anything like a 70 30, you're going to have to drain it. Now we're going to use a can of cream of mushroom soup. Okay. And this is, show them the can, Amy. This is IGA cream of mushroom soup. It's delicious. It is good. Yummo, yummo. We love the IGA. And a can of cream of chicken. And I know some people go, why are you doing that and you use beef? I know, chicken beef, chicken beef. I know, but it just adds a little different dimension to the flavor. Well, I'm all about dimension and flavor. <laughs> and flavor. And when that gets all mixed up, and again, if you've got mushrooms, you can even put the mushrooms in now. We're gonna put that in this casserole dish. Okay. After you get it all mixed up. Okay. My um, pan is a little bit shallow. That's okay. That looks really good. Yum. It smells good. You know, um, I made shepherd's pie for my husband about 10 years ago, and he said, I like my vegetables and potatoes separately. So when you invited us over and you said you were having shepherd's pie, I was like, uh-oh, Daryl doesn't like it, you know. So I, but I didn't say anything, and he was like, man, that's the best stuff I've ever had. <laughs> so apparently I didn't do something right back in the day. It was just a little different. He was hungry. Well, he's always hungry. All right. You know, real men are always hungry. Just pour that in there. I don't want a no salad eating man. man. How about you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Just even that out in the casserole dish. Okay. And now we're just going to scoop. Wait a minute. Do we put the beans and the corn in next? Oh. You know what? You I got was excited girl. about the potatoes. Beans. We need our greens. We do need our greens. Greens, uh, greens. Just one can of green beans. If you like the French, you can use those. I don't think it really matters. No, For I me, think it I've doesn't it matter. Both ways. I like to use the frozen corn instead of the corn out of the can, the mm -hmm. whole kernel because it seems to be sweeter. Yeah, I think it's fresher. So. I think frozen vegetables normally are always better than um, canned. And I use more corn than I do string beans because I like corn more I than do. I do string beans. But that's about two cups. And that unthaws really well. And this is a great oven. dish that you can eat with your friends or you can freeze it because you freeze this yes. and take it to a friend. So you could take it down the street. It is, it is a good dish. But, um, and it's great when it's cold because it's hearty and it's just. Oh, you mean not cold itself? No, but, cold outside. Okay. Here, you do the handles and I'll pour the, there. That just makes it easy. See, it's good to cook with a friend. I may have to have you on again, girl. <laughs> 
All right, just spread the potatoes out. Yum. Isn't that beautiful? And the only thing you really have to have with this might be a little bit of bread. Um, you might want to have a little green salad because this is obviously a heavy meal. My husband loves um, cranberry relish with it. Oh, yeah. Now to top it off. Yes. And what kind of cheese are you using? This is Colby Jack cheese. So it's it, mixed. It is mixed. And it's, I, I use the fine shredded instead of the thicker because it melts better. And I use a whole bag. This is what, eight ounces? Mm -hmm. It's two cups. And you put this in the oven until the cheese starts melting and maybe turns a little golden and that way it's hot all the way through and ready for a big party. Big thing. Yeah, I think you could probably feed 10 or 12 people with oh, this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, we're going to pop this in the oven. We're going to check on my cake. We're going to glaze the cake, and then we're going to sit down and do the real neighborly thing to do. We're going to eat. Yay! Yay! <laughs>